Meanwhile, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton faces some intense grilling on Capitol Hill today as she gives her long-awaited testimony on that deadly attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi. NBC's chief foreign affairs correspondent Andrea Mitchell has the latest on this. Andrea, good morning. Good morning, Matt. The Secretary of State has had to deal with a serious illness amidst swirling and discredited conspiracy theories, but is now finally able to answer questions about the security failures in Benghazi. After a fall, a concussion, and a blood clot, Hillary Clinton will face questions today Republicans have wanted to ask for months. What did she know about security failures in Benghazi? Did she know her diplomats had requested more protection, requests her aides had rejected? Had she seen a final cable for help from Ambassador Chris Stevens, sent to her on September 11th, the day of the assault that killed him and three other Americans? We bring home four Americans who gave their lives for our country and our values. Benghazi quickly became a political nightmare for the White House. U.N. Ambassador Susan Rice told Meet the Press and other shows the attackers were likely protesters, not terrorists. What happened in Benghazi was, in fact, initially a spontaneous uh, reaction to what had just transpired hours before in Cairo. Rice was relying on CIA talking points that proved to be wrong, derailing her chances of becoming Secretary of State. And this administration has either been guilty of colossal incompetence or engaged in a cover-up. Former security officers from Benghazi told Congress repeated requests for help had been turned down. It was abundantly clear we were not going to get resources until the aftermath of an incident. But Clinton's sudden illness prevented her from testifying. Secretary Clinton is recovering from a serious virus and concussion. Leaving unanswered a scathing report from an independent review board. The security posture at the special mission compound was inadequate for the threat environment in Benghazi and in fact grossly inadequate to deal with the attack that took place that night. Today Clinton will finally report back to Congress. This is about building upon the uh, review board's recommendations which the secretary and the Department of State have fully accepted. It will be a grueling day, first in the Senate, then in the House. Not how the Secretary of State had planned to wind up what is widely viewed as a stellar term as the nation's top diplomat. Matt? Andrea Mitchell in Washington. Andrea, thank you very much.